Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PPL week 7. I can finally catch up with the videos, <laughs> with the weeks. Uh, kind of having this on time, which is awesome. And this week, we're facing Necro Stevo, coach of the Eterna City Enders. Um, about this match, I think he does have a little bit the team advantage. Zygar does poop on my team, Pangoro does poop on my team as well. And Sloking is going to be hard to take down. Um, also, Rotom is always a problem for my team as well. So he kind of brought the team I was kind of expecting. Uh, <coughs> pretty similar, at least. Um, at least most of the team. Uh, maybe I could have expected uh, a Fable or Caesar. Caesar was actually actually pretty good, but I do have Ante, so I can understand why he didn't bring it because he didn't want to bring Mega Bombers now and Caesar at the same team with me having that fire type. So that makes sense that he didn't bring it. So it's a pretty pretty team that you know I could have expected it, and that's a bad thing because. He brought the, the best things to deal with me. Um, before the battle though, as you can see, he's running the fucking Chandelure, Sloking, uh, Zygarde, Mega Bombers now, Pangoro, and Rotom Wash. And in my team, I'll just do a quick, uh, just do a quick explaining of my team. Um, <coughs> I'm still a little bit sick, by the way, but uh, my team is Mega Gardevoir. It's a Taunt Combine set with um, Hyper Voice and Shadow Ball. Yeah. Uh, Scarf Rock Scobalion. <laughs> uh, bulky uh, mixed Entei with Jolly Nature this time, so we're not running Extreme Speed this week uh, with Bulldoze and Iron Head. Um, defensive Stormy with Rocky Helmet. Uh, cursed with No Sleep Talk. Uh, Body Slam and Crunch, Snorlax, and last but of course not least, Nasty Blood Golbat, uh, which let's make a special mention of this mon. Uh, kind of does some damage to his team, um, especially if he brought Caesar or Fable. He didn't though, but uh, there we go. Uh, so this is the team. If you want to know more uh, in depth, the set, the EVs the you know the movesets and all you can check uh, the team builder I made for this team is actually quite fun um, but at this point we shall jump into this battle it's a little bit of a long one uh, so yeah let's just do it uh, so yeah I am going to be leading with God of War because God of War does good damage against his team and he leads with Rotom now on the first turn he clearly realized that it was very speed invested. Because uh, he outspeeds my Gardevoir that was also heavily speed invested. Uh, but not to outspeed Rotom uh, in normal form at least. So uh, I'm, I'm going to have to take a move right here. Oh, that's what I thought because he missed first turn. Now that's huge. That's actually very huge. Hyper Voice, though it's almost going to kill. And then I will outspeed. Um, you know. <laughs> I will outspeed because uh, Guard of War Mega has 100 base speed, and I can just kill it. Like his first turn went so well. Now he brings Pangoro, so I'm thinking he's definitely Scarf, as I predicted it in the video thing. So I'm expecting him to bring Knockoff, safest play for him, and he gets rid of my Scarf sadly. So this Pangoro is going to be even more annoying. But I do get my Justified boost. And I'm expecting him to switch, and I do have the rocks because I was expecting this to happen. I was expecting to my scarf to be knocked off at some moment, and, and oops, I will be able to set up rocks uh, easily. And that's what I'm going to do: set up rocks and then switch out directly with Volfrit. Just get the initiative, and we do this. We're doing this. What I'm going to do is going to Gardevoir uh, to probably take the Scald or the Psychic type moves. Um, so yeah, I do that. Uh, now though, he reveals the pain of my existence, which will be T-Wave. Uh, this battle, we're going to be seeing the T-Wave a lot. And he's probably Spadef, so he will take uh, not that much damage for, from this Gardevoir, so I will get weakened. Uh, it's a shame, 
but I do get paralyzed here with whatever. Um, it's it's annoying. Yeah, we're, we're going to be seeing <laughs> we're going to be seeing a lot of these sloking just sitting around and just being doing the sloking things. It's a good mod. It's it's a very good mod. I like I like sloking. And so he's going to be taking this very bad because I get a crit. Um, nothing that is too worrying because he can just switch get regenerator or slack off if he has it. Uh, so he's going to do such a thing. Um, I was thinking of going for for Shadow Ball, but since I do have rugs up and he can't get rid of them, I was just feeling safe going for Hyper Voices anyways, because it does more to Sloking than Shadow Ball. Um, going for Shadow Ball here would have been nice, but I'll just switch into my mate, uh, just just spe specifically mate Snorlax to set up on this. Um, he reveals the Pain Split, so he can actually get a lot of recovery from Snorlax, which is was nice planning on his part, honestly. I don't know if he will be carrying a will o wisp I guess I should watch the team analysis he, he will do if he does it. Uh, but I get the curse up, which is very cool. And I'll just go for the safe... Um, <coughs> for the safe uh, crunch, as he brings these and quad resists it, so it will do no damage. Um, the thing is here though, let's, let me pause it after this crunch goes off. Um, my plays... Uh, Alright, so here we do have Snorlax against Pangoro. As you've seen, uh, well, maybe you've not seen it. I'm a plus one defense. I do have a lot of investment in both defenses uh, and HP as well. So I can take a Drain Punch. I, I can. <laughs> I can take a Drain Punch because I am packing the Chopper Berry, which halves the damage of Fighting Tap's move uh, by half. I plus one defense. It doesn't do that much, cause, and since he's Scarf and probably Jolly Scarf, um, it doesn't do too much damage. So now I'm thinking he may <coughs> want to go for the knockoff because I do have a Golbat, which is a pretty decent switch into this, and he wants to get rid of the Violite. I do have the Gardevoir as well that can switch in a fighting time move. So I'm going to stay like a madman. Uh, I know I can take the hit anyways because of the Chopple Berry. So he goes for knockoff. He knocks that off, and I go for the Body Slam. Now I'm packing Body Slam just because I can get the Paralyze. And I get it on the Scarf Pangoro, which is huge. It's, it's, it's fantastic. I'm getting some nice hacks on my favor this time. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep going for the for the uh, Body Slam. I was really thinking like, wow, I can, I can get another Paralyze now. Do it, do it, do it, Norlax, do it. He saves his thing as Dead Father. I get a crit right now. Uh, it is nice, but as return hacks, he's going to get a crit right now uh, as well with Earthquake. Now this crit didn't matter as much because, well, he had he had a chance to kill. Oops, <laughs> he had a chance to kill me only. Just a high roll to kill me at plus one defense, and I could have went for rest, even though it's dangerous because he could be set up coil or dragon dance. Uh, but I, I went for rest anyways, I tried, but he gets the crit anyways. Nothing I can complain about really, because, you know, the Hydro Pump miss, and then the crit, para, all that shit that's happening in my favor, so I'm... Um, <coughs> Pokemon those these things. I do think I'm playing well anyways though, um, making the appropriate plays to the appropriate scenarios, uh, so that's cool as well. Um, so we get some nice damage onto this. It's still a threat to my team. Uh, what I'm going to do is just go into this. Uh, I am heavily speed invested even though I'm defensive. So he may be scared of the defensive set as well. Um, and I'm just going to drop Scald. It is very important that I get burns on thing. He's going to sacrifice the Pangor that he saved as Death Father. Uh, so Stormy gets a kill which is nice. Another kill. <laughs> I think Stormy now is in the top 10 in the PPL getting killed. It's amazing. It's, I love Stormy. Uh, so he gets a kill. He's going to bring this, uh, this beast. Um, if I were him, I would have run not no warning. Actually, I would have run soundproof to take a hyper void and switch into hyper void. But anyways, um, I, ha I can't get, I can't stay in. My only attacking move is called. So I switch into my ente, and it pains me. This pains me because I was thinking before the battle to run balloon earthquake. I, I mean balloon ente, right? To deal with this thing going for Earthquake. <coughs> and the last minute I decided to change for Expert Belt. Now Expert Belt does more damage with my all coverage moves I have. But you will see that 
it will not uh, be as important because if I had balloon right now, uh, he predicts my Entei very nicely and he goes for said earthquake, as I said. Uh, we can see the nice Mega Evolution. You can't really see Mega Bombas not that much in League Format, which is nice that he decided to draft that. But it's powerful as shit. Like, he's gonna go for Earthquake. I am. I have a lot of investment though, and I wish I had my fucking balloon, man. I wish I had it. I don't know why I changed it. I'm stupid. Uh, I know this outspeeds the Chandelure. I do have XP Grass for the. Uh, for this. <coughs> for the Sloking. So even so, I can just play safe with this. It's I outspeed most of his things on the team. Uh, I can maybe get a burn. I do not get it, but with hail, I can just kill it with uh, HP grass. Honestly, and I'm just going to go for it. Like I can just play safe. <coughs> I know I outspeed the Chandelure. He's not going to expect me to have Jolly Nature because um, normally Ente is adamant. But he goes into this, takes rocks damage, takes the HP grass plus hail. And I'm like, wow, Ente, let's go. Let's fucking go. Now I will outspeed you. And <coughs> I'll do some nice. I will just kill you with Bulldoze, probably. Because you're a very low amount of HP. And, and I have the extra bell. So I go for Bulldoze, and he fucking lives with one. Now I don't know if that was a, a, a roll. I didn't calculate, honestly. Uh, he may be sp HP invested as well. <coughs> God damn it. Uh, that's why I said the balloon would have been much better because I would have been a higher amount of HP and the expert bell didn't do what it had to because it didn't kill the chandelier so uh, balloon was much better it paints me I thought uh, fuck it was an idea that I had in my head well that you know it was an idea that was around and, and it didn't work and I changed it why did I do that it would have been so much a good amount of HP and you know we had to use Sloking to take more sacred fires and this thing outsped almost everything anyways <sighs> fucking <sighs> god would have been so much easier but anyways he lives and he kills me with shadow ball of course he could have killed me with like fucking HP dragon or grass whatever he kills me and he's going to die from life orb, so no kill for anyone right here, uh, right there. It's very sad. <coughs> this is dead though, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to bring my fastest thing, which is Aethos. I can bullshit if he brings this Loking, which he does. Or I'll speed anything else and just kill it, basically. So I can just bullshit on this. Um, I'm expecting the T-Wave this turn. Uh, Weeaboo is nice switching. My my brother here, Weeaboo. <laughs> And I'm going to eat that T-Wave up, and actually I lied, because I go into Superstar, that's a turn later, fuck. Uh, I'll go to the safest route then, because I have natural cure on this, so he, if he T-Waves, I'm not too worried about it. So I'll just try to fish for burns right here, like a good Pokemon player. <laughs> uh, actually burns does good damage against his team, like it's a good option against him, to burn things. And I was thinking, wow, he may switch into... He's fucking Mega Bombers now to get hit by that. It's not, uh, so I can get the burn on that as well. So spreading burns is nice. Uh, he paralyzes me, which I'm not too worried about. I can just switch out and heal the paralysis with the uh, natural cure, as I said. Um, he now switches into Mega Abba. Must know. Uh, and I'm like, it's time to get the burn, man. I, ha I can do it. It's called. That's what it's called does. <laughs> it gets burns. Do it, Starry. Fucking do it, burn him! Like, come on! So I go to go for burn, and I do not get it. So, <coughs> I am here, since last time he went for Earthquake, I'm pretty sure he's going to expect the Golbat right now, go for the Ice type move, and he does. I'll switch into my um, Cobalion, which can take the Ice move. It's a little bit risky, but you know, it's risky to switch on this monster, anyways. So he goes for Blizzard, does good damage, and. You know, he can't really switch in again. He tries to stay in, try to, uh, you know, maybe he expect SD. But I go for close combat, picking up a kill for Cobalion as well, getting rid of the Mega Bombers, no, which is fantastic. And I am feeling good. Uh, Cobalion, getting another kill. I need this to save this Cobalion though. It outspeeds the the Zygarde and can take a 
extreme speed with the investment I have, so I can just Vault Switch out. I want to skip this. And now it is the turn I said before that he goes for T-Wolf, and I switch to my boy Weirboo. Uh, I, I said it wrong before, but now I'm pretty sure I do. There it is. So I do make the prediction here. It is a correct one. Uh, you could have went into Star Me as well. <coughs> but you know, now we're going to have some turns of sitting around here. It is, good, it is one of the low parts of the battle, so bear with me with this. Uh, he's going to slack off, and I'm going to try to do damage with the Hyper Voices, which doesn't do half damage, which is very sad. So this is just this. I'm trying to get him in a low amount of HP, so I can just bring Golbat or... Yeah. Golbat and set up. Oh, God. Oh, so yeah. My God of War doesn't really have uh, a point right now. Like, it's, it's paralyzed, it's almost dead. So I don't really think I want to keep it. Um, it just, it's just death fodder this time. So, I was thinking that this battle may come... Uh, it may end with uh, Starmie stalling out this thing from Slack Off. So my, my objective now is to get rid of as much Slack Offs as I can. Uh, so that's why I'm spamming Hyper Voice, not because I think it will work in any ways, but because I want him to use as much Lack Ops as he can. Uh, so I can have more recovers in the end game, get the burn on these, and just burn that way if needed to be. Um, so it's just this, it's just that's what, it, that what we get, it's just sitting around, he's just going to click Slack Ops, which is what I want. Uh, I do have Taunt and Carmine. But they're kind of a stupid place because she outspeeds me because I'm paralyzed. So it would be a stupid place to just go for that and then fucking just get on. I could have gone for Taunt and then set up with Golbat, but he took hit KOs me anyways. Uh, psychic, so. <coughs> It'd be a good amount of HP. And Giga Drain plus 2 does like 60%. And finally, I get paralyzed. Probably in the worst turn possible because he's at max HP. So I couldn't get enough damage, but he wasted some slack off, which is nice. And he's going to just pick up the kill. Um, very sad uh, that God of War has to die like that, but you know, everyone prepares so well for it. Uh, which is nice, it's whatever. Um, now we're going <laughs> for more stall. I want to bring my, my superstar. And the idea now is to get the burn on this, because I want to beat it 1v1. And I will do it. He goes for T-Wave to outspeed it. So <laughs> nothing, nothing else I can do about it. I still have my Cobalt and my Golbat in the back seat, so it's looking at quite an even battle right now. Uh, so if I can get the burn, which he can't now because I'm paralyzed, I can beat it one v one. Get paralyzed here, which is <laughs> that doesn't matter. Um, <coughs> So yeah, um, I can just I can just stay in. Um, he's going to try to do for damage, and I keep fishing for that sick burn. And would you look at that? I think this is the turn I get it. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is nice. I don't remember. So I get the burn on this, which things are looking nice. He doesn't have too many slack offs left. I get the burn. I have plenty of recovers left. I haven't like used it yet in this battle. So this burn is gonna help me, honestly. Uh, here he goes for psychic. I should have went for recover right here, but I decided to. I, I do went. For, I could go for recover. Wow, what the hell? <laughs> I impress myself sometimes. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's not very thrilling battle at this point. Like it, it, it is. It is this. Just this. It's just you to do some damage, and he's. I didn't see what he was trying to do. Um, at that point, I'm like, well, if we have to beat this 1v1, we'll fucking do it. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> but at some point, he wants to get me at uh, around 50% because I don't have recover. I mean, I don't have lefties, so I am forced to, you know, go for, for, for recover at some point, right? And this is the turn I will do it, uh, I think. And in this turn, he makes the good play of switching directly into Zygarde. Now, <coughs> I'm going ahead of myself with this battle. You know, we've, we've seen a lot of fucking <laughs> uh, Slowking sitting around. Um, 
he goes a pretty important turn of the battle for me at least I'd say so he brings these on my recover uh, he was he baited me to go in for to recover I need to recover just in case he does that um, I don't get paralyzed which is very nice but um, you know I got a boy HP now oops he goes for dragon dance he probably expected me to switch or at this point expected the paralyzation um, probably expect me to switch. Why I stay in? Alright, so he's life orb. Hmm? And I do, I am packing rocky helmets on this uh, Starmie. Now I'm at max HP almost, and I do have a lot of defense and HP investment. You can see the team building uh, video for that if you want to see the exact AVs, because I don't fucking remember right now. But I can take an outrage and just, he will die. Um, he will die from Rocky Helmet and Life Orb. So that's why I do stay in. Uh, the worst thing that could have happened is me getting paralyzed. Would have been almost GG. But even a plus one, I may be able to take one. I haven't done the cards uh, after battle, but... Uh, I can take up, uh, you know, if he didn't if he didn't set up, I can take one. And he will die from recoil and, you know, all the recoil. With Rocky Helmet and, and thing. <coughs> Life Orb. So I can just stay in. He decides to Dragon Dance, expecting me to switch. Or just to get paralyzed, and uh, it's getting spooky because this thing is a monster. But thankfully for me, I do not get paralyzed, and I can get the scald, and he will die. Uh, it's not a frail star me, so I knew I could have taken the hit, so that's why I do that. Now, at this point, uh, star me beats this 1v1, I'm pretty sure, at this point of the battle. Um, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Like, <laughs> if it wants to take the long road, I can just eventually kill it because I do have plenty of more PP than he does, um, Pokemon wise, at least uh, in the battle. <laughs> Jokes, but uh, you know, I'm not about that life. I'm a man that has no time normally, and I'm going to make a play that affects my differential. But you know, it's whatever. It's a little bit risky, but I know Starmie beats it 1v1 anyway, so if it comes down to it, we'll do it. I sack Cobalion, because it has no use, because this is the only Pokemon he has left. The Psychic. I'm sorry, Cobalion, but I want just to speed this up, man. I just not, I'm not about I'm not about have, being three hours into a game. Um, so I'm just going to be in Golbat. I'm just going to use Gold. I wanted to use Golbat, man. I'm like, I'm going to set up a nasty button and win. Fuck it, let's just speed up this process. I want to show, I want to show the nasty block Golbat. He paralyzes me, fine. <coughs> I will show you how much damage a powerful Golbat can do against you, even if you slack off. You're going to be wasting more slack off, so in the, if it needed to be, Starmie can beat it against you 1v1 more easily. But anyways, um, <coughs> yeah, uh, he slacks off, he tries to stop Golbat, he doesn't think the power, the power of Golbat's packing right here. Yeah, he's not toxic this week, no. He's Giga Drain. It's fucking Giga Drain, so I can recover health as well. It does like 40 something percent, but with Burn, he can't really slack off at all. So he is going to be forced to Psychic me, or Fish for a Para, which I don't think he will. Uh, he's going to go for Psychic, and he does good damage, because I, I just. I'm invested in speed and attack, man. And Giga Drain will pick up this kill. And I was so excited when I saw that! Goldman get the kill! I that's what Goldman did a little bit. It sped up the game. I was happy. I was happy with Goldman working. And that's the week seven <coughs> of the PPL. Um, very good game, Necro. I'm sorry for the hacks. I would feel a little bit uh, worse if you didn't. You were packing D Wave anyways. <laughs> so I don't feel as bad, but I do got some hacks that help me. In any case, I do think I played well, and you did as well, Necro. Uh, we'll see each other probably in the future, uh, battling-wise, so we can battle again. And it's going to be fun times. Check out his channel. He's uh, in a lot of leagues and stuff. And before ending, I want to give the shout-out. First shout-out to Slyro for recording this match, um, which is the next opponent. Uh, Peach, I think it's a Peach Book Pyros. Hopefully I'm not saying that wrong because I don't remember these things. But yeah, Slyro, thanks a lot for the for, for, for the match you recorded for me. It wouldn't be possible without you guys helping me recording these matches. 
and uh, helps thanks to Juancito Marvel for uh, getting my mods, which is also nice because I don't have time to do that. Uh, so it's beautiful that I have so many people helping me. Uh, talking about beautiful people, thanks guys for watching. I will see you guys next time on this channel and just bye bye, have fun and enjoy your life. Bye!